In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the new fill tool, gradient fill, and pattern fill features in Rebel 7. So let's go ahead and start by making a selection on the screen. We're going to go over here to the fill tool, which is keyboard shortcut L. We're going to choose gradient, select a gradient, and then drag across our selected area. Notice that we have our gradient being applied in real time. If we tap, here in the center, we can pick another color. Let's delete and reapply our gradient. You can see how this is affected and this is not affected retroactively. So if we want to do that with this slider set in the new position, we're gonna to have to redo that gradient. Let's select another gradient. Here, if we do it a second time, it's going to apply over the original one. The first one sets, a second one is added. Let's go ahead and put a couple lines here inside the selection. We're gonna go back to the fill tool. We're gonna to bring the opacity down and then fill over the top. You can notice that this fills with some opacity. Let's bring this down even further. Now let's look at the pattern. We're going to keep this circle here so we can see what it does over the top. You can see that as I drag, it pivots the pattern based off the initial starting place. So we have these scales. We're going to turn them so they're facing down. We can bring this in and over and pivot these to adjust how this works. Then we're going to tap outside of our selection to set it. Okay, let's undo that. Let's pick another pattern. Now let's bring the opacity down. You can see we can see through this. Now, if we have a selection on the screen, let's use our watercolors. And we're going to paint here on the side with a couple different colors. Then we're going to combine a few colors here at the top. Good. Now we're going to go back to our fill tool and we have a pattern fill. We're going to do this with a color so you can see how this works. Here we filled everything on the screen. Now when we click you notice that this is accepting everything here. Now these are attached by this line in the center so let's go ahead and erase that. Make sure these are not touching each other. And let's go ahead and do that again. If we choose alpha, this is going to fill based off the opacity of the underlying pixels. If we choose wet the layer, if we dry the layer, when we add our color, it's going to add wetness as well as color. If we choose contiguous, it's going to constrain itself to only touching pixels. And if we bring the tolerance down, so this is 128, the max number here is 255. 255 includes all the colors on the color wheel. All right, we're gonna bring this down nice and low so you can get an idea. So now if we click over here, this is moving from this orange color right here towards the red, and it's moving about a tolerance of 36. We want it to include the blue, which is way over here. We're going to have to bring this up towards 100. Now, if I click over here, you can see it does the same thing. This color is almost the same, and this one is almost the same. So it's allowing for those to be fully selected. Now, we can actually fill. Let's go ahead and deselect our selection. Let's zoom in. And now I can fill a pattern on top of a different section of pixels. So let's use our alpha. Let's do that again. Notice that the pattern that's being applied is being applied with the same alpha characteristics of the pixels underneath. This is really cool. Let's bring this down, our opacity down to about 60% and do that again. This looks really cool. Let's do that right here. You can see how that is going over the top. Here you can see there's a bunch of different types of patterns. You can import your own use pattern and you can remove patterns with the minus button. 
All right, if you guys have questions about patterns, the fill tool, gradients, go ahead and put that in the comment section of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.